Right, this is, uh, for those that wanted to know what it looked like, this uh, this is a voltmeter I've added in. If you look on the Type 25, this is the, you know, the standard 1.9. The heater cowling, right smack in the middle towards the top there. There's a great big empty space behind, um, which isn't affected by heaters. But what I've done, the meter itself is about 7 quid, and it's powered by the dashboard lights. The switch to the right enables me, because this is at the moment reading the voltage on the leisure battery. Actually, strictly speaking, it's not. It's uh, reading a trickle charge being pumped into it, because I've actually got it on charge. Now if I switch now to high charge, see? See the voltage rise? And black down to trickle charge. <laughs> And generally speaking, when because I've just got a split charge relay, because um, the batteries don't charge until the alternator kicks in, that's when your red light goes out and your dash, if it's working, um, your at that point, prior to that, I if ignition's off, that'll give you the voltage in your battery. When the alternator kicks in, this display will rise according to the output from the alternator. The switch to the right allows me to switch over to the cranking battery, the starter battery. So if I switch it to the other way it will read the voltage on the cranking battery. And uh, the great thing about this it gives you a good, dis good idea of whether or not your batteries are being charged and at any given point the voltage left in the battery which is great if you camped overnight all right well thank you very much for watching that was seven pound for the display and uh, about two or three pound for the switch from Maplins, but fairly easy to wire in all right thanks for watching